Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy SkyTZ here and today we are back once again with another Penguin Skull and Violet VGC video and in today's video we're going to be using a team crafted by a player known as Cobalt. I will leave a link down below to their Twitter. Make sure you go check them out. They are a very, very talented player with a lot of very good teams. But basically... The reason I'm so excited to play this team is this is an incredibly hyper offensive team. As you can see here, obviously, this is a Tornadoes Tailwind team. We have the Reggie Drago with the Dragon Fang Terra Steel Dragon Energy. I absolutely love Dragon Energy. In games where you can just click Dragon Energy freely, man, this mod feels so damn good. We also have the Golden Go, which is incredibly good into the Fairy type, especially with that Terra Fairy Choice Specs. This mod puts out an absurd amount of damage. We've got the AV of Rillaboom, one of my absolute favorite supports right now. I think this mod is absolutely insane. It's also a second form of speed control there too with the drum beating, which I do think is pretty damn cool. Tornadus obviously has the Bleak Wind Storm. It's got the Tailwind and it has the Icy Wind. Once again, just making sure you go first. That is the, the main priority with this team is making sure that you can get off your attacks before your opponent can. Then we have the Scarf Shifu, Terra Water. I mean... It's Urshi, what can I say, man? This thing just goes terrible water, it clicks Surging Strikes. This thing, it's good, man. It's a great Pokemon. And then finally, our, um, I guess our anti-Trick Room and our anti-Urshi uh, kind of wrapped up all in one, and that is the Rocky Helmet Mimikyu. Um, obviously, look, this one's got Trick Room. It's basically there to reverse Trick Room when we need it. It's also got Play Rough. It's got Shadow Sneak as well, which is really damn good for things like uh, Fluttermane, obviously. Um, and then to wrap it off, we, you know, we've got the Taunt. Taunt's just a fantastic move, really good to the Amoongus of the world and whatnot. Um, but yeah, look, this is a pretty op offensive team. I'm super excited to use it. Let me know what you guys think of the team down below. But yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so an opposing Tailwind matchup here. This is looking kind of scary. Um, damn, Drago doesn't feel great into fake out a resist and an immunity. Not to mention they're just faster. Um, gold is not bad here, but I may need it in the back. We don't have stomping on Rilla, right? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm thinking we go something like... Do I want to lead Shifu here? Yeah, I think we lead Urshi. Go this. Because if they lead Rilla, we can always swap out the um the Urshi if we need to. Just depending on what they want to do, though, right? We just want to put ourselves into a position where we could potentially dodge the fake outs. I, I do expect them to maybe go Rilla Torn, though, to fake out plus Tailwind here. Okay. And they've gone the, the, the Urshi here. So the Urshi, the, um, <laughs> the Tran. That's really, really good for us here. All right. So we're going to go Surging Strikes here. And we're just going to... Oh, we don't have Rain. Mm, mm, okay. That's... Mm. Do I need Terra Steel in the back? Probably not. I also don't need Terra Ghost here. I think we just need to go for this KO, right? But the mods I have in the back don't deal with that thing. Uh, the reason for Terra here is... Yeah, I think we go Terra CC and then we go Bleak Wind here. The reason we're going for the Terra here is in case they go Bleak Wind, outspeed us, and then just one-shot us. Um, but if they go Tailwind here, which is kind of what I hope for, then it puts us into a decent position. Like, we've got our Sash intact, so... And if he doesn't go Terra Grass here, we should just pick him up. And if he goes Terra Grass... Oh, he goes Sunny Day. Oh, he's been outplayed, boys. He's been outplayed. Urshi's about to go... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, boys. We got him. Oh, that's so good, too. Oh, my God. I wonder if he's Citrus. I feel like he has to be Citrus if he's running like a play like that on me. Get the speed drop, please. Speed drop, speed drop, speed drop. Damn. That's a lot of damage, though. That's a lot of freaking damage. You know what here? He's got the sun up. That's A-OK -okay with me here. We got our Sash. Let's go into Mimi here. And then just fire off another Bleak Wind. Because if we can, like, as long as we get a bit of damage here onto the Fluttermane, like, we can put it in Sneak Range here. And I'm guessing my opponent's going to try Tailwind on my Tailwind here to make sure he outspeeds me. Yeah, it's going to be the, the, the Dazzling Gleam. Specs Gleam in the sun is insane. This is one of my favorite strats right now, personally. Oh, yeah. And he goes to the Tailwind, as expected. Now, he's going to go Gleam. We're going to hold, and then we're going to pray we hit the right slot here. Because as long as we hit right, it feels really good. I mean, we want to hit left too, obviously. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, if we can KO their Torn and then get our own Tailwind up, it's like, it's really sick. 
Because at that point, gold... Yeah, and we hit both. That's massive. Get a speed drop on the... The flutter, please. Oh my god, boys. Pray and you shall receive. Okay, this should put gold in a really good spot now. They, they shouldn't have really any answers to gold in the back. And Mimi here should be able to, like, fire off an attack here too. I'll have to double check our speed on the Mimi here. Oh, hold on. Okay, it's Dark Shifu as well. That's that's fine. That's fine. So what's our Mimi speed here? Are we going to be Timid Max? Sorry, Jolly Max. That's not max, but at minus one, that should be enough, right? So what do we go for here? Play rough right plus... No, nah, no need. We just go... Mm. Mimi gets an attack off here. Question is, which slot do I want to attack here? Probably just here, right? Because with that speed drop, we, we already know his special attack. Sorry, yeah, he was special attack boosting. Yeah, okay, he's just going to give... Oh, actually, he might not give us this, but he might give us the sash on it. Oh my god, okay, it's Scarf. Don't worry. Oh, we lived! Mimi's a beast. Mimi's a freaking beast, boys. Wait, what? Yeah, am I crazy? How did we... Oh, dude, no, of course. Like, just because I was plus one, I still needed to be, like, 140. Um, mm, okay, this one, definitely not over. Um, because we're about to get one tap by this Wicked Blow, and there's nothing I can really do to stop it. Um, oh, pray it's not actually Scarf. Is it the last turn of Sun, please? No, damn, two turns. Oh, how many turns of... Hail into two. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's GG. The Dark Shifu's going to clutch up for him, I think. Boy, sometimes you just got to believe in the Joe, I guess. Oh, wait. Hold on. There might be a chance here, actually. There still might be a chance. Urshi is still alive in this game. Come on, Joe. Hold this somehow, baby. Or go first. One of the two. Ah, damn, Joe. Punished there for our, uh, our choice specs, unfortunately. How many turns left of Sun? One turn left. Is there a chance Urshi clutches this up? So many emotions. I thought this was done, and now I'm thinking maybe Urshi out of the Sun can get it done? Question is, does Wicked Blow into Sucker Punch KO? It, it probably does at this point, right? Because, yeah, I think I think we definitely KO. Pray he, we got to pray he's banded here. Because if he can get the Sucker off next turn, then it's GG. Yeah. Oh, we might live a sucker from that range. If Wicked Blow did 110, that's a chance. Come on, Urshi. Oh, hold, baby. Oh, it held. That should be game. Urshi, go brr. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Oh, dude. G freaking G, man. Urshi for putting the boys on his back. They set up the sun, but it did not matter. Holy crap, dude. That was scary. My goodness. I... Man, that was that was really, really scary. But look, GG to my opponent. They played really, really well. Uh, man, that was... Whew, what a game. What a freaking game. All right. So we have a Thunder Balance team. One of your boys' absolute specialties here. Um, This is really freaking scary looking. So... Golden Joe here potentially does not want to make it rain on really five of his six months. So gold probably doesn't come here, which is kind of sad. Um, Drago in the back is kind of cool if we can get rid of Thundee and or the Flutter. Um, all right. Do we need Tailwind in this matchup? Probably not, right? Our, our team's pretty quick. You know, I'm going to lead off with this go urshi in the back ah uh, no nah, because i kind of need tailwind for drago don't i if if my win like late game win condition is the reggie drago i kind of need it right do i leave you in the back then yeah maybe i maybe that's my play leave urshi here 
just try to put ourselves into a position where the Reggie Drago can clean this one up. Because, yeah, otherwise this does feel really, really rough. Mm, it's actually a really scary matchup. Like, you look at all my offensive pieces, right? Like, half his team, I don't really want to searching strikes. Like, mate, you know, I think I think bringing Urshi was the play anyway. I think I needed its damage this game. I guess we're about to find out though, right? Yeah, I feel like I needed it to break through some of his mons. Oh, look at the little side ducks there. Hello. Kobe Bean. All right, so... Let's see what this lead is here. Rilla plus Flutter. That is okay, I think. Because what did we go here? We went our Rilla and our Mimi. So that's good. He can't fake out our right slot here. Which means we can always look to threaten them here. Um... How fast are we on this Rilla? 107. Okay. I don't like our chances of getting the fake out off here. Then I'm just going to double this slot and pray. You know what? Trick Room was also an option. Yeah. So he's going to get that on. It's most likely just going to dazzle and gleam us here too. But that should hopefully put this in a two shot range. Oh my God. That's a lot of damage. Dude, Mimi's insane. Mimi can shit out some damage, boys. <laughs> All right, so the good news here too is we are Rocky Helmet here, which means if he does try to protect plus take out our Mimi, the Rocker, the Rocker, the the U-turn here plus um, Rocky Helmet should do a good chunk of damage here. So we'll just, we'll keep the Flutter main in check here. Make sure it can't play the game. And yeah, he goes for the protect. That was pretty obvious, but I couldn't really afford to let it just get off a another Dazzling Gleam there. Good chunk of damage. He should most likely go for a Woodhammer into Mimi here. Yeah, which we should tank, I hope. Oh, we did not tank that. Did he crit or is he just that offensive? My god, that was insane. But we called really, really good chip, though. Oh, and we are right back at him with the insane damage. I think that is probably a quite an offensive Rillaboom, if I had to say. Um, all right, but this does now put us into a position where Torn can come in next to the Rilla here and really put some pressure on the game. Because now we can get that mid-game Tailwind up. And the Fluttermane does not have a Protect. And we're not really that scared of the Rillaboom right now with this board state. This puts us into a really, really nice spot here. And we could also afford to go for the Drum Beating as well here into the Fluttermane slot. As we uh, set up the Tailwind here. Um, and then... Yeah, we know he's not boost to speed. We're, I'm pretty content here just going to Drum Beating. Get the tailwind. So he's gonna give us the Mimikyu, which is sorry, the Mimikyu, the, the Flutter main here, which is really nice. I'm curious to see what he does go for here. Really, really curious to see what this is actually. And he's gonna U-turn out himself. Okay, that's fine. So we still have Terra up here on our uh, on our left slot, which is pretty nice. Um but he also no longer has a real good check into our um into our backline anymore, I don't think. He goes the Arcanine. That is okay with me. So on the Arcanine here, if, if he goes back into Rilla 2, I'm pretty happy just to go Terra Ghost Bleakwind. Just to make space for our um, homie in the back. Because at this point, as long as we keep our Sash intact, we should be okay. This is, though, where I do kind of dislike the double grass on um, Rillaboom because I really wish I had Stomping on Knockoff here to throw into that Arcanine slot. They're really thinking about it here, though. Um, I really hope Rillaboom is what comes out here just to put us into a nice spot, like where they potentially just go fake out left um, and we can hold our Sash. And it's the Thunderous Incarnate. Okay. Okay. So, Thundy is a bit of a problem here, I'm not going to lie. Um, let's just fire off that Bleak Wind here. Get rid of our, our typing as well, which is going to be really important. Uh, then I think we can just go the Woodhammer here. The issue we're going to we're gonna find here is Eerie Impulse is going to really hurt us, so we need to get as much damage out as possible. Hopefully this was something like E-Speed plus T-Bolt into this slot. I highly doubt it. 
Um, but I think, yeah. Ma making sure we can't be faked out at all E-speed here is going to be very important. Um, we've missed one. Please tell me it hits the Arcanine. Oh, we missed the one we needed to hit. That's not good, boys. That's not good at all. The Woodhammer comes out. It, look, it that, that did an okay chunk. I'm okay with that. Wild Bolt Storm. Please tell me he carries my right slot here. Yeah, okay, that's huge. That's the mod I really needed to go down. I, I think him actually going for the attack into my left slot was a way better play for them this game. Oh, but now the big question, boys, is... Is that Thunderous at minus two in range? Because he should not be able to get an attack off here. I guess he could E-speed me, but pray he doesn't. Oh, man, I just really wish that Bleakwing Storm connected last turn. How many... Can I can I afford to go for the protect here? I I can go for one protect here I think and hope we get the uh, the attack off here, because I I'm also guessing it's probably E speed plus eerie impulse into that slot. I think that's how I would play it at this point. I just ignore the the other slot. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, if he wild bolt storms and he connects, we're in trouble. Okay, he goes T wave. That's fine. I again, this is kind of where I wish we had taunt right as well. Like icy wind's like okay. Oh, we missed. You're kidding me, man. Oh no, we didn't miss. Okay, we didn't miss. That's fine. We did miss. Frick, uh, if that had connected, I think we could have gone Icy Wind and Dragon Pulse, but... Ooh, all right. Um, just Dragon Energy here, I guess. I, just, I really need to get both mods down this turn. Because at that point, that I, even if he like paralyzes me, I can still protect plus, you know, fire off a, a Wild Bolt here. Not a Wild Bolt, sorry. A Bleak Wind. Come on. Show me the magic, baby. But just, you know, just miss the Thunder Wave. That... Oh. Wait. What? Am I crazy? I mean, we're probably not killing the nine. Oh my god, we just one shot the nine. Holy crap! Um, dude, dragon energy is insane. Holy crap! It actually pumps out damage. <laughs> dude, I can't believe we just carried that Arcanine from full. That that's wild. That's so wild to me, man. Holy shit! We lose that Tailwind, but that's okay. At this point, I'm pretty happy just to double attacking with Dragon Pulse. Because he can fake out right if he wants, but it, it's GG. We can just go Icy, we can go Dragon Pulse, and just, yeah, we should be able to seal it up from there. He's really thinking about it. He's got one Mon in the back. Oh, wait, does he still have the Flutter Main? Oh, if he still... Oh, he has the Flutter Main on low HP, doesn't he? Am, am I wrong? Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy, right? Rilla, does he have the Flutter Main alive still? No, he doesn't. Okay. Dude, like, I was almost certain it was dead. <laughs> like, oh, dude, I, I know it's... He has Flutter Main, right? I'm not thinking of the wrong game, yeah? Yeah, okay, I carried the Flutter Main already. Dude, I'm fucking... I'm tripping. I'm tripping, boys. And we'll just go Dragon Pulse here. GG. Well, actually, I guess it's not GG. He could, like... Nah, it's, it's GG. There's no way he ever gets through the, um... No way he ever gets through the Drago here. Yeah, he doesn't even go the fake out. It just gives me the KO. But... Um, boys. Reggie Drago, once again, just going bang. Drago goes bang. Oh, alrighty, Victor. Victor out here with the Bramble Gas. My goodness. All right. Um. So this team pretty freaking spooky, actually. Um, Bramble Gas is a fantastic mon into the Urshi here, which kind of sucks. Um, but I am okay with going. Oh, not you. Going you on lead here. Oh, dude, this team like really struggles with Heatran. Hey. Um, I, I guess if he trained Ghost Terror and Grass, it's fine. Um, and then finally, oh, Gold on Mimi here. Um, 
Uh, decisions, decisions. I think Mimi's probably better, right? Gives us a decent answer. Helmet's nice into some of their stuff. Yeah, I think I think this is good. I think this is okay. But basically, our win con here once again is just try to get our like Reggie Drago into an end game where it can just kind of click buttons. Because if, if it gets in and can just like you know start like clicking dragon energies for free, then it feels really good. Um, obviously we have to be very wary of things like the the e speeds, the sucker punches. Um, I believe Bramble Gas also gets um, what is it? Shadow Sneak, obviously Aqua Jet as well. A lot of priority on this team. Um, so very scary. We just got to make sure we play around it well. Okay, and leading their Bramble Gas is very, very interesting here. Um, so if I had to guess, there is going to be a Grass move coming into that slot. Um, I also can't Bleak Wind or Icy here, which is kind of rough for me. Um, so I'm happy just to U-turn out off the... can't even U-turn off the Bramble Gas here. Uh, I mean, I can. It's just not ideal. Like, it's, yeah, it, it's just a neutral move. Does he also go for it? Okay, he does. So he's going to get the plus one. All I really need is this to be in range of Mimikyu now. Dude, I, I got to build a Bramble Gas team. Oh, that, that should be in range of Shadow Ball. The question is, does he power whip me here? And does he break my Sash? Not my Sash, my Disguise. All right. Hopefully he just like misses. Oh, he goes Seed Bomb into... Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Unfortunately, we don't get the Rocky Helmet chip there. Oh, he's Life Orb. Okay. Interesting. Um, So I'm going to go Icy Wind here. And do we need a Terra Grass here? Um, does he... The question is, does he outspeed me and does he KO me, right? I think we actually have to go Terra Grass here. This sucks. I actually hate that I have to click this right now. But I'm... Oh, dude. Because, like, the thing is, I think he outspeeds me and one-shots me there with, like, a plus one Shadow Sneak. Man, this is like a Wolf Glick team, like, at Worlds. Like, I swear Wolf's going to pull up with Bramble Gas, boys. Mark my words. Like, he made the video on it. You know, he was talking about it. Ooh, okay. Does that mean no Sneak? If he doesn't Sneak, I'm so sad here. Oh, he does sneak. Okay, so that's why we terrored. Oh my god, thank god we terrored. I would have lost that game there. If I was unable to get that KO, we would have lost that game 100%. Actually, I, I say that. He, he was probably in range of U-turn after the um after the Rocky Helmet. It's just not nice to have to U-turn out again, you know what I mean? Um, But it's good here. He, he gets the... Like, once again, though, I, I just lost another speed tie to a Torn. That feels so bad, man. I think... Is that... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've lost a lot of those recently. It's like every time it's like a Torn versus Torn matchup, I'm just, I'm never winning. I'm like, I know I should be winning that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know I'm faster and stronger than he is. Uh, not faster and stronger. I know I'm max max on this team. Um. Okay, so now the big question comes down to is... Do I want to Icy again? I think I do want to Icy again, just to make sure for speed ties in the back. Um... And then, is chipping Torn worth it? I mean, he's already minus one, yeah. Wait, I can, I can check that. I, I didn't check, actually, for Covet Cloak, did I? Yeah, okay, he's not Covet Cloak. That's fine. Yeah, so, and then I can just... I can just sneak Tran here. I just want to get some damage onto Tran. Because, like, it, basically, what's going to happen here is... Ooh, I mean, that's fine. Again, that's fine. That's fine. Is it fine? It's probably not fine, is it? I'm guessing Heat Wave comes out here. Like, if he could miss Mimi, that would actually be really nice. Mimi? Boy, sometimes you just gotta ask for it. I'm telling you, boy, sometimes you just gotta ask. If you ask, you know, just... You might get what you want sometimes. You might get what you want. Um, I could fire off a player off, but I just want to go sneak, just in case. Basically, again, like we, we've said it before, we're just trying to set up for an end game where our... um. Our Reggie Drago can kind of just come in and click his buttons. Oh, he goes the extra protect on the Torn. I guess he, he's really trying to make sure he gets the like the, the Tailwind um, like advantage, right? Oh, if I miss Icy Wind, I'm in trouble. Oh, we connect. Okay, thank God. That should care from that range, right? Oh my God, it lived. It freaking lived. I 
I mean, at this point, does it matter? Oh, boys. Uh, I need to I need to make a call here, right? Um, I if that's the last turn of Tailwind, I have to make a prediction here and potentially click Jet. Please tell me I have Jet on this team. Do we both lose our Tailwinds there? Tailwind does pewter out for both sides there. Damn. Okay, so the question is right. Does my opponent here go for Terra Grass or does he go for um, keeping the Steel Typing? Because I, I feel like I feel like Grass is so obvious here. And I need to stop the Tailwind from his side. If he goes Terra Grass here and I KO left I probably don't KO Tran, do I? And he probably will KO me. It would all, all come down to what his last one is. It's got to be Terra Grass Tran. Okay. And because we're, we're scarfed up here and he's minus speed, which means out, we always go first here. Like, we're going to stop him from getting Tailwind up. We just got to pray. Pray to God a single target Dragon Energy KOs this. I don't think it does. I don't think it's going to do that much. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Like, ah, dude, like, part of me sitting here thinking, like, should I have just U-turned and Dragon Energy there? U-turn plus Dragon Energy was pro- Oh, my God! Dude, this one's insane. This one's actually insane. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's crazy. Dude. <laughs> dude. Reggie Drago is a monster. Holy crap. <laughs> it just... Oh, and they send out their Urshi now. Oh, do we die to CC here? Well, the bad news is, boys, we've only got Jets. If he can one-shot Drago, it's GG. Like, we, I don't think our Urshi wins a one-on-one -on -one here. CC, come on, hold, Drago. Oh, it held? Yeah, that's, that's GG. Now, dude, Reggie Drago putting the boys in the freaking backpack. Hits him with the Kamehameha. Ah. Dude, I don't know why I didn't think we were going to live that. We lived that on 86. <laughs> GG, Victor. My God, dude. That was... Like, I can't believe we won that. Reggie Drago just said, get in my backpack. We are going to the promised land, boys. Ah. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Anyway, boys, look. That's going to be me for today. Um, obviously, make sure you check out Cobalt. This thing was hella fun, man. Reggie Drago hitting those buttons. Just, you know, it's, it's clicking the fun button, man. Super, super fun. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.